over to the club tonight, I was feeling nervous because today's the big day and I don't want to be messing up and making a fool out of myself. I did all this work and it'd be a waste if I made anybody look bad because I put the time and effort and so did they. Set the precedent for tonight's event, predicting a high percentage of torment. Hey, all you scratchy traps and implants, I'm gonna jab this cap in your pants. To play at the world famous Whiskey A Go Go means the world to me because I've never played a show in my life before and to play at, a, at the Whiskey, that's really good for starters. There's nothing that I could have done to make me more prepared because I practice, practice, and practice, and all I need to do is sing, take your clothes off. <laughs> what's up, guys? What's up, hey. Teresa? Hey. Yeah. hey, what's in the bag, girl? What's in the bag? It's the outfit. So, Teresa, you've been practicing? Of course. Let's hear it. Where are the lines at? Right. Set the precedent high for tonight's event, predicting a high percentage of torment. Hey, all you scrappy crap flip Teresa was feeling very, very good tonight. I think uh, after the gun range, after the rehearsals and all the stuff like that, I think that she was actually ready to go more than I thought she would be. And now remember, treat your guitar like a shotgun. Yeah. I was like, wow, this girl is like really relaxed. She came back there with just all the confidence in the world, and um, she surprised me. Make sure you ready, girl. I am ready. Make sure you ready. Now Just remember, when you're up there on stage, imagine everybody in the audience is wild, feral animals out <laughs> in their own feces. <laughs> My biggest fear for tonight is messing up and people just laughing. I don't want to be laughed at. It's just going to make me embarrassed. I don't have any second thoughts or regrets for this. I worked my ass off and it's going to be worth it. Our fans are from all walks of life, all different kinds of people, but they're all just hardcore weirdos or maybe they just enjoy the spectacle. But most of them are fairly intimidating characters. The atmosphere at this club tonight was more like a uh, Ringling Brothers, Bonnie Beta Circus type of thing. They was bloodthirsty young kids. I wish my parents were here because it would be nice for them to see this kind of thing that's different, but it's also good that they stayed home because they'd be shocked. See Teresa on the stage tonight was more like seeing like your daughter going for the first time and try to sink. But you know what? The first 30 seconds, I knew she was gonna do real well.
Jason's performance tonight was courageous. I mean, just straight, like, straight from the heart. She really wanted to do this. I mean, not for a family, not for friends, not for, not for anything else, but just for self-confidence. I mean, she went out there and just, just knocked it out. The audience loved Teresa. toned up and like she doesn't really have much rhythm but her stage presence and like her fun energy really pulled it off she rocked it this was an empowering experience to let loose like this because it brought the inner me out, and nobody's ever seen me like this before. When I met Teresa, she was timid and shy and innocent, and now she's a party girl, and she's crazy, and she rocked it without the female, and I want to see that girl rocking out from now on. I think this transformation has changed Teresa's life completely. She came in here as a scary little frail little young woman, uh, and now she's leaving here as a beautiful individual. She has the confidence up here now to go do anything she want to do now. I am glad I went through this process. It was fun, awesome experience for me to let loose like this and, you know, freaking impress everybody.